Hi, in this video I'll explore the Unity 6.1 features, so stick around until the end. Unity 6.1 is supported version. What does that mean? Supported version is look like LTS, but LTS version supports for a specific time, two years or three years. But this version supported until the next version is released. So you can rely on this version and create your series game. Now let's explore the new features. I'll ignore some uh, features and I focus on important ones. For example, uh, if you press the add component, let's uh, work with it, add component here. It will open a dialog and you can choose a location to save the new script. It's a uh, so basic option but we have it in version 6.1 and also uh, several options moved to other menus for example undo history is no and the window and then general instead of edit and uh, some other modifications also if you use urp system you can reduce the number of shader variants and it will reduce the bail times and also file size shader loading times and also runtime memory usage. And also DirectX 12 now is a default graphics API for the Windows platform. You can switch to DirectX 11 but the DirectX 12 is the default option. Also these optimization options uh, have been added for the VFX performance both in editor and runtime. As you may know about it, VFX system is uh, kinda new in Unity and has some problems uh, specifically in optimization field and these optimization options are very useful for it. Another feature is Default Plus and it's added to the URP system. Default Plus, as you can see here, uh, is a system that built richer worlds with URP system and it accelerates uh, GPU performance using advanced cluster based light calling for more lights. And now you can use it beside the forward and deferred system. In the HDRP system, a system called VRS for custom passes to optimize shading performance. With this system you can dynamically adjust the shading resolution in specific areas of the screen. It will reduce the GPU workload while maintaining visual quality. Also, horizontal deformation is added to the water decal system. In the previous system, uh, water system could add vertical deformations but here horizontal deformations are available. Also I explained uh, water system in Unity in the tutorial here. For the Android system uh, we have several options to support your application across various device screen sizes. And also a new system has been added that you can specify the Android devices that uh, want to use Vulkan API. It actually a filter list that you can add your custom devices. For the web platform, can uh, build your project for Facebook instant games and also for the web GPU. Uh, these systems uh, are supported now. Compute shaders in their rendering, GPU scanning, and VFX graph. And also here we have project auditor, which it can uh, detect uh, some problems in your project and give you some uh, guidance and also some analytics about your uh, codes and files and you can easily remove the unused assets and some problems in your project. Alright, the rest of the features as not important as the others I've explained. Also, this is Unity 6.1 and it has a few changes and there are no any uh, noticeable changes that I want to introduce in the editor. The only thing that I can say is that if, if you are using Unity 6, it's not necessary to migrate to Unity 6.1 because it doesn't have big changes and just it.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share questions and ideas in the comments.